Inside the hub of your wheels, out of sight and out of mind, are your wheel bearings. In the last video from the MC Garage, I showed you how to inspect these critical components. In this video, I'll show you how to replace them. So, with the wheels off the bike, all you need to drive out your old bearings and press in new ones are the following items. A hammer, a drift, preferably a long one with the ends in good condition, a bearing driver kit, or a socket of the appropriate size, a torch for heating the hub, a flat blade screwdriver for removing the seals, a pair of snap ring pliers if your hub has snap rings, blocks of wood to support your wheels, some grease and contact cleaner, and of course, your new wheel bearings and seals. The first thing you need to do is to support the wheel on blocks to protect the rim and the rotor. Next, pry out your wheel seals with a flat blade screwdriver. But be careful not to gouge the hub. If you've got a really stubborn wheel seal, what I like to do is use my torch to preheat the hub for 30 seconds to a minute. That way the seal pops right out. Of course, you're working with fire here, so be careful. You don't want to burn your paint and you don't want to burn yourself. Once you've removed the seals from both sides of the wheel, it's time to drive the bearings out. But first, we've got to move the inner spacer out of the way. By moving the spacer, that's going to expose a little edge of the inner race and you're going to be able to hit that with your drift and drive the bearings out. Now, you may find that the spacer is loose enough that you can just nudge it aside with your finger, or you might have to use your drift to lever it out of the way. Once you have the spacer moved over, it's time to drive the bearing out. But first, you're going to want to apply some heat. Heating the hub with a torch will make the aluminum hub expand and release its grip on the bearing. And that makes it easier to drive the bearing out and helps preserve your hub. Heat the hub until it's good and hot, which means until water dances on it. Also, if you've got painted wheels like I've got here, you're going to want to move the heat quickly so that you don't damage the paint. Steaming. It's hot enough. Now, take your drift and drive out the bearing. Tap around the perimeter of the inner race and pretty soon the bearing will pop out along with the spacer. Then, flip your wheel over, heat your hub again and drive the other bearing out. Now, if you feel like this is a crude way to do things, there is a more elegant solution. This is Motion Pro's wheel bearing removal tool. It grips the bearing from the inner race so that it's driven out squarely, plus you don't have to worry about moving the spacer over. That is a whole lot easier. Now it's time to install your new bearings. First, take a rag and some contact cleaner and clean out the bearing race in the hub. Then, apply a little bit of grease to the outer race of your new bearings to help them slide into place. When it comes time to buying replacement bearings, there are a lot of places you can go. I got my kit from All Balls, but you can also go to your dealership to get bearings, or you can order direct from a bearing wholesaler. But Ari, how do I decode bearings and seals? Good question and good news. We've got a video that'll show you how. All right. If your hub happens to use a snap ring on just one side, you're going to want to install that bearing first. This wheel doesn't have any snap rings, no snap rings, no problem, so we're just going to go ahead and heat the hub up and prepare it for the new bearing. So apply some more heat to the hub and then plop the bearing into place and get it started by tapping it gently around the perimeter. I'm using a bearing driver from Motion Pro, but you can drive the new bearing in using the old bearing or even a socket of the appropriate size. Whatever you use, it's important to only apply force to the outer race to avoid damaging the bearing. If the bearing gets cocked while you're installing it, stop and drive it out. It has to go in square. Keep tapping until the bearing is seated. The tone will deepen as the bearing contacts the bottom of the bore. After that, it's time for the other side. Flip the wheel over, install your spacer, and check to make sure that this thing stays aligned as you're driving in the new bearing. As before, heat the hub up and then drive the bearing home but you want to keep checking that wheel spacer to make sure it's aligned. It has to make square contact with the bearing's inner races. With that second bearing installed, check the spacer one more time and then press your new wheel seals into place. You can usually install these by hand, especially if you apply a little grease to the outer edge. Also, if the inner lip isn't coated in grease, go ahead and do that now. All right, that's one wheel done. You've just got one more to go and then you're good for another 30 or 40,000 miles. That's it for this video from the MC Garage. As always, feel free to leave questions and comments below and make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time.